All right, this is the last try. If this does not work, I will not be coming back with another video. So give me a second here. I got to set this. I had to move some stuff while I was waiting. Yeah, good enough. All right. Well, nothing wrong with trying a few times. Yeah, there's definitely something up with the internet, and it is raining here too. So, can you guys hear me all right? times a charm we'll see but listen just just make sure you know like if this fail if this stops i'm not i won't be coming back uh i won't try to do it live again not tonight at least so all right and i was actually thinking like Hell, maybe that's my sign. I shouldn't be trying to paint with my hands live. You know what I mean? All right, cool. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right, well, I'm just going to uh, be here. Everything looks all right off off to the other side. There's I have a monitor that monitors the... Uh, I guess like the stream quality, it's in the green. That's why earlier I was able to tell you like, oh, it's getting ready to drop off because it was uh, it was going into the yellow and the red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get uh, get myself started here, I guess, right? So yeah, so if this happens to stay working, make sure you guys do me a favor and share this real quick, share the video, because I didn't even have time to do that at all. And yeah, I'll probably get started here in about two seconds. I got me some uh, some gloves here that I'm using. These are I still have these are actually tattoo gloves I've had. Uh, I bought cases these years ago, and I still have them. I just started uh, just started using them. Really, I've used them a few times in previous videos. Well, it seems to be it seems to be working so far. All right, all right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a landscape with just my hands i guess so you know i'm telling you i don't know what makes me even think of this stuff but um i'm going to try to do that and uh so i guess i'm going to get started i'm not using any medium and here's what i'm using i'll hold the palette up so you can see it there's the palette right there there's all these are all the colors that i normally use in my regular like my regular videos here on youtube um these are all this is gambling all gambling's paints and it's just, I'll just tell you real quick so you know, it's just titanium white, there's Prussian blue, ivory black, burnt umber, sap green, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, and cad red. And those are the colors that I always use. I, I've used a little bit of the Bob Ross paint because I have tons of it. So I've just been trying to get, get rid of it over the last couple of weeks. So, seems like we're doing all right. So yeah, just share the video real quick, if you don't mind, because I know a lot of it's going to get messed up because the notification that was put out, this is a different, sort of like a different stream. The link probably doesn't even work from the original post, but that's all right. All right, so I'm going to get, I'm going to get started here, and I'm going to just put some, some, I'm not using medium, but I'm just going to start getting some white paint up here on the canvas, um, and I'm going to use that so I can start blending my color in. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. So I'm going to have to actually, I'm going to hold this. This is very interesting, actually. I probably could have, I could have used um, a medium, but whatever. Whatever, this paint, this white paint is super, super thick right here. I mean, it's like, this is like, it's like thick, like peanut butter. And that's good. You know what? I'm going to actually dip my finger here into a little bit of, uh, a little bit of paint thinner. Just a tiny bit. see how that does. I'm just going to 
just kind of loosens that up just a little bit because man that paint is super super thick you know the last time I, I did this was a year ago I did the I did a video on uh, like a finger painting here on YouTube but the first part here, I just want to, I'm laying down some of this, ooh, some of this white here because once I start going into the blue and all that, I'm not worried about here or really over here, but once I go into the blue, it's going to start, it's going to get messy real quick. So I want to make sure I have, a, you know, a good amount of white down first so I can blend stuff here. I'm actually trying to remember if I used medium in the last video. Don't know. Okay. So if you guys haven't shared the video, go ahead and do that while I'm putting this white on. It would be much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit over here. You know, and this is actually pretty satisfying for anybody who's never done it. Okay. I just have some paper towels off here to the side, some extra gloves, all that good stuff. Okay, where do I want to start? You know what? Just because I think we need it, I just want to put a little bit more down here. So when I'm going to put a mountain in this picture. And I want to make sure that I can really blend it down here. I can always change the gloves if I have to, but try not to. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm just going to start off with a, a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue here. And I'm just going to get it up, get it up onto here. And then once it's up here, you could just really work with it. This is dry over here. I didn't do anything over here on the left side. I didn't put any white over there, but I'll just drag some as I need it. And you have to have patience if you're doing this here, doing it like this. If you don't have patience, I definitely wouldn't try this. Because you have to like work it around and just kind of, you know, use your best judgment, see what looks right. Surprisingly, the stream looks, uh, looks green. So that's a good thing. I'm glad I tried it again. So I'm just dragging this color around, just kind of getting it down here on the canvas. And I only used a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of blue to start off. There's going to be a big tree over here on this side. You know, I think circles would probably be the best thing right this minute. Let me see how that looks real quick. I need a little bit more color and I need to drag that down a little bit. So I'm going to get a little bit more blue. See, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, just a it's a little tiny bit. I want it to be darker here. Maybe in this area here. You have to figure out like which finger you want to use um, to like, you know, this finger could be for the dark. This one can be for the light, you know, and stuff like that, which I didn't do that. I'm just kind of doing whatever, but that would be a good idea if you were trying to do this, like pick a finger, one for light, one for dark and one for blending. I got to get a little color over here. See, I still had some color right on the glove because I'm going to put a tree over here. And I think when we get to this point, I'm going to make um, the tree trunk with a uh, with like a paper towel. So 
So yeah, make sure that you guys share this video because I obviously my hands are tied and I can't I can't go over to like Facebook and share it there and I'm not streaming on Facebook. It I'm just here on YouTube. I have that multi streaming thing I just got and I did that and it I noticed that it really took away from the quality when you stream on more than one thing. So do me that favor real quick and share that since I have not the ability to go over there and do that. All right, so I think we'll be just about done here with this background color. I'm just trying to blend it real quick. Actually, I need a paper towel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe my hands off here real quick. Because the blue kept coming off, so I just wanted to wipe my hands off real quick. All right, I think that's I think that's probably good right there. And I'm probably gonna put a cloud. Probably won't show up too good, but I'm gonna do it anyways for the heck of it. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit of white. I'm just going to drop like an indication of some, something up here, like some kind of a cloud or something. Let's see how this is going to work. Set it down. There we go. Perfect. Nice. And this takes a lot more a lot more paint when you're doing this like a lot more almost like a knife painting this ain't these aren't going to be like uh perfect clouds or anything but it'll give you the idea you know when you're looking from 10 feet or whatever i'm just going to blend the bottom here Drag some this way, some that way. A little bit more white. Drag some down here. Probably a little bit more in this area here. You know, something like that right there. You know what? Maybe I'll just put a little layer in or something, right? Another one right there. In the background, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the best thing here is just keep wiping this glove off. All right, so there's that. There's that part. All right, here's here's the fun part. Fun part is uh, putting the mountain in. So let's just jump right to it. All right, um, I'm gonna have to quickly mix a color here. So I'm gonna mix like a blue. I'm gonna just take like blue, black, and maybe a little brown, and then some white to get the base color. So let me do that real quick. I'm gonna mix up some blue. Some black, some brown, and yeah, some red. Reach over here and get some white. Just mixing this color up right now on the palette. Just to get a base color for the mountain is what I'm doing here. So, all right, okay. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. So, all right, let's come up here and I'm just going to start getting some of this color in to see where I even stand here today. So I'm going to get the color in and then I'll work with it afterwards. Get it in and work with it later. 
can wipe that off. I need a little bit more blue into that color. It's a little bit too gray for me. So I'm just going to grab some blue right off of the palette here and just go like this. Like that. And that white color that I put down, it's letting me, it's helping me drag this a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm able to drag it down and kind of, kind of blends a little bit better. It's going to come back up here and just work on the top here a little bit. Make whatever, you know, these little peak things. Like this. And then somewhere here too. Just getting the general, the general shapes in. And then I'm just going to kind of go from there. Once I get the basic idea of this in, then I can start adding uh, stuff to it. Make it a little bit bigger, actually. Work upward. There we go. Peak a little bit bigger. Right up to the cloud. There we go. And you just kind of piece that together as you're going is the best, probably the best way to do it. Okay. So we got a bunch of trees over here. So I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get too worried about over there right, right this second. Okay. So down here is pretty much dry right now. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that here in a minute. I'm just wiping this glove off here real quick because what I'm what I think I'm going to have to do I might do a little bit now I'm going to have to grab some white some more white and put it down here at the bottom right here and I'll show you why in a second put some white right there okay and I think this will help me in a few minutes, we'll be able to go like this and cause like a little bit of like, you know, misty stuff. See? Little circles and things. All right. So we'll do that in a second. All right. Before we go too far there, we're going to grab some color here. All right. So here's the, yeah, there's the basic shape of this guy. Runs that way. That way. I'm going to grab me some. I'm going to grab some brown, some burnt umber first. All right, and I'm going to start. I'm going to start dropping in some of this burnt umber color, and it's not. There's not a whole lot of this, but some of it's going to show through underneath. I'm going to make that nice brown color inside here, inside the uh, the basic shape. Yeah, something like that. Right, but I want to still, I want the other color to, you know, still be there so you can see it. Let me wipe this off. Right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go right over to some yellow ochre right now and see how that looks on top of this color. I got some yellow ochre right there and I'll just come up here and just start to carefully drop some of that color on. Just like if you're using a knife, there's like very little, I'm barely touching this area here. I'm really trying to use the point of this glove as a little point on it. It looks, it feels like a little, nice little point. So I'm over here, just kind of working with it. Right, right down like this. All right, and I haven't worked on any shadows shadows yet, but I will. I'm going to drop a few of those in too. I guess you know what we could probably do that right now. Let me grab my glove and some blue and some white, a super light blue color. See how this looks for a shadow. I'm just mixing that color up right now. 
Um, let's see right here, maybe. Just a little bit. Just indications is all that I'm trying to do here. Little indications of little shadows and things. And these aren't supposed to be like super uh, detailed or whatever. These these paintings, I don't think so at least. At least the ones that I'm, I did before were just like little indications of, of mountains, you know. All right, all right. More color in there. Something like this, there, there, there. And we'll work on the front as we get forward. All right, so now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into white and I'm gonna start to do some of these like nice little, like the highlights that would be on this thing, all right? I'm just pulling through my little white pile here. I have a couple of them. And I'll come right up here and then just start to to highlight this where wherever I think you know it needs it. Put some down here. Yes. I gotta get some right on that edge right there. Right there. Bring it right down like this. Put some over here. But I still want to see like the the um the colors underneath the darker colors too because i think that helps with like the depth and all that stuff okay it's going to add a little color here and i'm going to start putting some darker color in here in a minute underneath of here so it'll stand out a little bit better <clears throat> all right here we go with the darker color so I'm going to go sort of back to the base color um, that we had with a little bit of blue in it. The base color for the, for the mountain. And I'm going to see how this looks here. I just want to put some of this in. This is like more towards us here. This is like in the front of us. Or closer to us is what I mean. This, maybe there's a little ridge there. Kind of pops down right in front just to kind of give you an idea that maybe this is a little closer that's the goal just smooth this out just a hair like that now i'm going to grab some white real quickly and just try to break this up just a little bit just right on that edge there Um, something like that right there. It's a very textured looking mountain. If you guys can see that okay. Hopefully you can. All right. I got to rip this paper towel off before I touch my face or something. Okay. Here we go. And all, I think I said this. This is all dry down here that's dry I haven't done anything I haven't put anything on the top except for white paint before I started all right so I'm just trying to look at this real quick and see where I need to go with it I need white paint to put right like this I'm just gonna oh that's not white hold on and some other color mixed into there so look watch this I'm just gonna I'm gonna go right across I just drew a white line just like this I'm going to try to take some of the thickness off of that. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to do circles on this. Do some circles. See how this works out. If I don't like it, it can be changed. That's the good part. It can always be changed up a little bit. I'm not worried about the left or the right side because there's some stuff going to be covering over top of that. So I'm just thinking about like I wanted I wanted there to be just a small indication of of like a misty area or something to separate whatever is going to go in front of that. Okay. Go down a little bit lower now, down below here. And I'm sure I might need more white paint here if I keep going like this. 
So now I'm just down here pretty much on the dry canvas with another white area. And I'm going to slowly work that in here with my finger. And this will end up hopefully looking like a nice transition or something. I don't know. All right, so let's just move on, move along here. I'm going to grab, I'm going to think about like a background color, some trees back here. So I'm going to get me some, I'm going to get me some green, just some straight up green paint. And I'm going to mix a little bit of that, uh, uh, the base color that we used originally, the mountain base color. And mix that with some green and some white just to lighten it up. See what that does for us. Just so it's a, a very pale, pale color, pale green or whatever. And I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to figure out somewhere in here. I'm going to think about a row of trees. All right. I like getting the color down first and then just kind of doing something with it at that point. I don't even probably need to go over that far. So I'm just going to try this for a minute. Yeah, seems good. I'm just tapping with my finger here. And it just makes this cool texture. I'm going to make them larger and larger as I go off the side here. Like this. Something like that. Okay. Make that a little darker, maybe a little more green. A little more green, right? Over here. So I'm literally just pushing, pushing and tapping with this finger. All right, all right. I can, I'm not doing anything here yet because it looks like I have some big trees that I want to put over on this side. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get some darker color and I'm going to put that in front of this. So now I'm going to take some blue. I'm going to take uh, some green and some black. Pretty much some blue, green, and black. And I don't think I'm going to really lighten that up because I think it's going to lighten up probably when it touches some of this here. And I wanted this color to be dark. So let me do this. I want this to sort of look like it's maybe in front. I don't know. Just grabbing little bits of it at a time. Maybe sideways. I don't know. You know, so some of the color that we put on first shows up as a little background color or whatever. Just getting myself set up here, getting some of that color down. I keep stepping back to look at this so I see, you know, exactly what's going on here. And I remember the last time that I did this, the mistake that I made is I wanted to put the color of the little stream in first because once I put all the other colors in, it was super hard to, to get that in and make it look nice and blue or whatever, like nice sky color. So maybe, you know what, maybe I'll do that real quick. Maybe I'll get some... Yeah, got to go back to the white paint here. Got to go to the white, and I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to try to put the smallest amount down, scraping it up. Just like this. So, really, I guess I'm using, I'm just using this white paint as a, as a medium, sort of. It just really helps the, the other paint slide around a little bit. A little bit better than just working on a you know working on a super dry canvas. Okay, that runs right off the canvas. So let's go right there. All right, all right. So there we go. So there's that. So let's grab some blue now. Some blue. Start down here. Make it dark down here. And just we're just putting some water in at this point. Is all all I'm doing. The shape of this really is not going to matter right now. Like the final shape, I can sort of adjust that, you know, after the fact. So I'm not going to let that, you know, get on my nerves right this minute. Or I should say any little, little details or whatever. Okay. 
little bit darker. A little dark in there. I'm just I'm just working it in while I'm here, just trying to smooth it a bit, so I don't have to worry about that later. And it's probably bigger than it's going to be, right? I'm making it you know bigger than what it's going to turn out. Maybe, maybe not. But I definitely wanted to get this in here because, yeah, I remember the last time it was uh, I had to. If anybody watched the video, the last time I did this, you'll see me redoing it a couple of times in the video. Okay. All right. So I guess we can. So I have some land. So see, a lot of this here was probably, I didn't need to do a lot of this because it looks like I got some land coming, coming over this way. So I'm going to map this in with my finger right now. I'm just going to map in the foreground and, and pretty much, you know, just like a, like a sketch sort of. All right. So I'm going to just take some green, blue, and black just to do that. Not the darkest color that I'll be using, but I want to get that land in is what I want to do. And that land comes right to the very back of here, it comes up like this. And on the other side, it's sort of just a little more flat over here. And like I said, a lot of this is gonna be, like a lot of the details come towards the end of it, you know, when I'm putting those details in. So I'm just taking some blue green, and uh, black right now and I just want to get I really just want to get some of this color on the canvas you know so I have it there to work with and I think this is probably the best way for me at least to do this the most enjoyable way is this way for me. You know, I can pull some shadows down and do all kinds of stuff once I get the color in. Maybe there's going to be a big hill right here. Okay. Boom. And I just keep right now I'm just blocking stuff in so nothing nothing too crazy okay there's actually some dark that comes right like this right here I'll, I'll darken this up towards the towards the very very end there's like a little hill there all right <clears throat> Swiping my finger off, and then I'm just gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna come right over here real quickly, and I'm just gonna pull. I'm just gonna get some of these sh colors in here, some of these shadow colors or whatever. But there, there. There's some back here. Here, do the same thing. I'm just gonna pull these colors down. And then let me try to smooth them out a little bit, and then I can always go back and adjust the, uh, you know, the dark part. Okay, all right, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Green, blue, and some black, more of that color, nice dark color. Work right here real quick. I gotta get the hill here or something. Get some of that color in. I'm gonna start dropping trees on here in a minute. Okay.
All right, not too bad. I just have to, looks like back here, I want to extend that just a little bit, a little bit over. So I'm just grabbing some color here, and I want to bring this right. Make it a little smaller as it comes forward. As it comes forward, it, it opens up more. You see that? Can you guys see that okay? All right. It's dark color here. Yeah, I thought it would be just easier if I got the, you know, all the base colors in first. Another hill here. Okay, that's good there. Now I need to get some of that super dark color here. So a little bit of blue, black, and green, green, blue, black, and green are the colors that I just keep using here. I want to drop this in here real quick because I don't want to do this later. I'm going to do it now. Help me figure out where I'm going. Just a little piece of land in the front, you know what I mean? All right. All right. So I guess the, the first thing I'm going to do um, before I do any kind of highlighting or anything on the land is I'm going to put in these bigger trees over here. Okay. Here's, I remember this. This was definitely uh, interesting. So wipe this off and <clears throat> throw this paper towel away. I'm trying to be as clean as possible about this here. All right, so blue, black, and green, more green, and that's what we're going to make some of these trees with here. So primarily green. We got blue, we got some black. Okay. See yeah, how this works out. I have not made a pine tree with my finger in over a year. So let's see here if I can. You know what, I'm just going to see and make a little line. I'm going to just go like this with my finger. Get some more paint and go like this. Yeah, there we go. Some more color on there. Dark. Okay. Make the next one a little taller and even taller on the third one. One over here too. Right about there. Put some dark color down there, and then I'm gonna do like a something up here as it comes down. This it'll get darker. And let's go like this, put a few limbs on this one here. Get some more blue and black and green. I just wanna darken up a few areas right in the front here. So you know that these trees are darker than the ones in the back. Okay, and they kinda of drop down like this. There's a little a couple small ones here. I'm gonna drop some little tree trunks in with my glove. See? Just indications of tree trunks. Little thingies. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's just the base color. All 
All right, on to the other side. So I have some background stuff onto the other side. It's not as dark. So just lighten that color up a little bit. By putting some white into it, maybe some yellow ochre too, just to change it a little bit. And it looks like maybe just some, I don't know, some background stuff I have going on over here. It's like a tree. And I'm just, I'm tapping just because I, I don't know, it seems like it works better. These are just little background thingies or whatever. A lot of this stuff doesn't show through on, on what I'm going off of, but they're there. It's just something in the background, okay? Okay, all right. So there's, there's that part there. So now I can start worrying about some areas that have like some highlights and, and things like that on them. So I'm going to wipe my finger off here. Okay. And then, you know what? I see something. I have to pull a little bit of this down back here. Okay, so now I'm going to probably <clears throat> get some yellow, maybe, just some yellow first. Start out and see how that does us. So I'm just going to get some straight up yellow. Add yellow. Add yellow. And I'll try to, I don't know if I want to tap or if I just want to slide that color on. I'll see. You know what? Looks like I'm going to, I'm going to slide it on, probably. Put some of that right there. Now remember, these are just indications of, you know, these are not supposed to be like super, you know, detailed little paintings. They're just indications. Because when you stand back, you can really, you can really tell. Right. Now I'm going to take some of that, that same color, that yellow. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow ochre in it, a little bit of green in it, just so it's not as bright. And come right over here. Drop some of that color in right there. This is in the background. So I want it to be like not real pronounced, not super bright. Now, I'm going to do the highlights on this area because there's a big, humongous tree on this side. So I'm going to drop some of those colors in too. It looks like I have um, yellow ochre mixed with yellow, a little green, all of that. So let's go ahead and put that. Let's get some of these colors in right here now. It's going to be a little thicker here. It's because this is a little closer. All right. Put the paint on and then maybe I'll tap like this. I think this is good when you get the paint on and then tap it. Seems like it's working pretty good. You can let it fade away as you want it to. Um, right. Yeah, it seemed to work pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing on this side with the put the paint down first and then and then just kind of work it in, tap it in with your finger. All right. Back to the yellow and a tiny bit of green. Yellow and a little bit of green. Okay. So I'm thinking right here. Something like this. Right down to the edge. I'll put that paint on first. Just get some of it here. And then watch. I'm going to. I'm going to tap it. I'm going to leave this little dark section in between the two colors. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to leave that just because I feel like it should be there. Okay. All right. So watch, I'm going to start this. I'm going to start tapping and I'm going to go in the direction that I want this to go in towards me, like this hill here. Actually, I'm going to need some more paint to do that. See, I'm going to just tap, tap, tap like this. 
And I want to do this because I want it to get more dark, not as bright as it's coming towards me. So yeah, tapping is actually doing pretty good, I think. I don't know what you guys can see. And then there's like a little bump down here, a little extra bump, a little hill or something. Get a little bit of a brighter yellow in some of these areas here. I want it to be super bright on the top here. How's that look on your screen, guys? You have to let me know. Okay, so we got that. We got that. There's a lot of texture in this. I mean, like a lot of texture. This is going to have it's going to have its own shadows when it dries. And I think um, maybe I'll brighten this up just a little bit in some of the areas here. So I'm going to take some yellow with uh, some yellow ochre in it just to see if I can get a different tone here in some of this some of this grass maybe it's showing a little brighter out here on the edge yeah good yeah that's cool seems all right and I'm going to do the front too. I'm going to let's put some highlight on there too. Might as well. I'm going to take uh, some green, yellow. Start off with a little bit of a darker color. Some green and yellow. This is actually pretty uh, uh, satisfying. I don't know if anybody's ever done this. Finger painting. All right, so that hill goes right off the canvas like this. It goes over here. Darker as it goes down to the bottom here. A little bit more color here. All right, not, not too bad so far. Not too bad. All right, I'm going to jump right over into this big old tree because I, I just got to get that out of the way. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel a certain way about it. So I, wanna, I just want to get it done. All right, so for that, I'm going to take, I'm just going to take brown, uh, burnt umber, and start making a tree trunk. My finger. Okay, here we go. Brown. This ought to be interesting. Alright, so I don't want it to get too big. I don't want it to be the big tree, so I want it to just kind of you know, start right here and then work its way down. Let's do this. Just get a basic idea for where it's going. And I can go right back into some brown. And then just kind of like, you know, fix it up a little bit. And then I can add the dark colors to it. You know, and then the highlights, obviously, after, after the fact. It's a little bigger. Like that. So, perspectively, it looks all right. All right, not too bad. All right, so I'm going to drop the black. I want to get the, the basics of this done. So I'm going to get some black, just straight black paint. And I want to get some, like a dark side to this. Without trying to reshape it. I really don't want to reshape it. So there, let's see. I'm up here. 
Okay. This. All right, that's good enough. Now, before I put the branches and stuff in, I'm gonna I'll just put the highlights on on the other side. So I'll probably use. Let me hit some yellow ochre here real quick. See how this color looks. Some yellow ochre in here, right down the this side. Here, something like this. All right, and then I'm going to grab some. What do I need? White. Let's get a little white. Just hit it right. Light's coming this way. It's not too much, just a little bit up, up, and, up and down the left side. Okay. Got to rip off. Let me do this real quick. I'm just ripping off some paper towels real quick because what I'm thinking here is I'm going to try to use the maybe the use the the paper towel here for just a couple of branches. Okay, just like a few little branches. So I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm going to dip it into some uh, just some brown. Okay, see, it's just dipped into some brown paint, and if this doesn't work, I'll have to figure out another way. Okay, one branch, one, Get one branch. There's not too many visible branches in this tree, and here's another one, maybe one coming off the top like this. Just little things, you know. Just so there's some kind of an indication of something happening, you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. All right, so now back to the hand. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to just use some green and a little bit of blue. Green and a little bit of blue. And I'm going to try to make uh, just like some clumps, just some little clumps of leaves. I'm just going to use my finger. And see, go like this. Just come down here and just reload this and just do the same thing. And just try to get a good, you know, a good little shape going here. Cover up, definitely cover up some of the branch, branches. Now this is dark. You're not going to see too much. I'm going to put highlights on this. I keep reloading because I don't want to get too much of that brown mixed in from the actual tree trunk. Right. Some more on that side. Right here, nice dark color right there. And still let some of the background show through. Okay, looks like a basic uh, tree shape, right? Or a basic, no, you know what I mean? Basic leaves. All right, so now, I'm going to go, I'm going to just take some, like a yellowish green color here, and I'm going to try to uh, make like the, you know, the highlight areas of these little tree clumps. So hopefully, hopefully they'll stand out a little bit. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with some yellow. Um, there's definitely some green in this color. Let's see what we got here. So I didn't want to go with the brightest color yet, but I have to have a lot of the color on my finger. I have to have a lot of it on there because so it'll actually take to the the already thick paint that's on here. 
And none of this is thinned or anything like that, so. So here we go, little highlight areas. So I know I want, yeah, this is a clump here. See, it goes right across like this. There's another little clump here. So set some paint down and just kind of go with it. Leave the dark there so hopefully we can see the difference in the clumps. Maybe there's some here, like this. And one over here, like on the tops. I mean. Stand back and see where else. I'm going to drop a few over here, too. You gotta definitely be careful. This tree will end up growing all the way across the canvas. Right now. Don't have much room left on this palette, but let me grab some. I want to get some yellow. I'm going to try to mix some, uh, some white. And just get a super bright color here. I want to try something. So it's just going to be yellow and white, you know, whatever other little bit of mud might have got into it. Um, I just wanted to try to get a few little areas that would really just kind of separate, you know, just a, like some super bright areas is what I'm saying. Just for the purpose of, I don't know what for, Now, this is much brighter than I would probably make it in regular painting, you know, the, if, especially if the light's coming from the left side. But I wanted to make this bright like that just because I wanted it to try to stand out and be, be able to be uh, seen. Now, I got to get some dark green and come over here now. Um, so let me grab um, green. Let's see here, mix a color. I just want a really dark color, a dark green, and see how this looks over here. Okay, that's too dark. Just mixing a color. I think this might work, maybe. I just want to drop a few little little highlights here. Just want to try to define some of this. I'm using the point of my finger on the glove, I mean. Scooping the paint up and trying to think about the direction of, you know, where I want these leaves to go. And I'm just doing it that way. I need a brighter color now. Or right here. And this one back here, I want it to be a little darker. Um, I'm just trying to show separation, you know what I mean? Um, hopefully, hopefully it looks all right. Hopefully it looks okay for you guys. All right, and I'm gonna leave this one going here. So let me scoop up some of this color and just try to a little bit there leaving a lot of that dark color showing because i just wanted to show i think it's important to leave the dark show here All right now i want to just grab what do i want to do i want to put something right here just a little bit of something so let me grab i'm going to just take some yellow ochre there's some there might be a little green and yellow mixed in it maybe yeah there is I'm going to try to see how 
just a little little bit of something here just to separate the greens it's white yellow ochre I get a little bit of a brighter yellow ochre, maybe. I'm just, I don't even know what these things are, but I just want it to be color, to have some color in here. You know what? We didn't use any red. Let me get some red up in here. See what that looks like. Nice little pink color, maybe. Some pink in here. Yeah, there we go. Some there. Some pink here. Who knows? Maybe these are flowers. I don't know what they are. I'm going to put some over here to balance it, make it look even. On the front. Make it even more red in the front. <laughs> Colorful. All right, let me wipe my uh, let me wipe my hand off here real quick. I didn't even change gloves. It's pretty good so far. All right, so let me see here. Probably should we just grab some white with the tiniest bit of blue in it, maybe? See how this looks. See, I wanted to drop in some. I wanted there to be like, you know, just a little bit of movement here in the water or whatever in the front, towards the front. I have this color. I'm actually using the tip of this, my finger on this glove to to act almost like a knife seems to be doing okay get some more of that blue and white color throw out here like this Texture, texture here in the front. So I got some movement there. I better get some blue, a little bit of blue, maybe sprinkle some blue here and there. Like something to contrast it a little bit. And wipe my finger off again. <clears throat> see how this works I'm using the point I'm using the point of this to try to drag down little areas to form it to where it drops right into the water dragging it down and then I'm just kind of softening it and blending it to give it that land shape or whatever Maybe this one goes all the way I'm going to darken this up here a little bit since I decided there's a little piece of land right here kind of last minute so maybe this little stream works around and then it comes forward I don't know back to the colors again and just this easy look just drop some colors in see I'm going to get some color here I want this to be a little brighter here make a little bush real easy bush see a little Some more, maybe another one right there. Nice little bright bush right there. This one's kind of big. Something like that. Let me just get some green. 
I just wanted it to look a little bit more rugged in the front here. I don't know why. I'm gonna put some stuff on the edge of this tree here. The tree trunk needs a little grass growing up it. There, like a uh, moss or something. You know what I mean? Like, I think this tree has moss on it. Just the indications of it, though. That's the most important part. Is just just make some indications. It doesn't have to be, you know, like this big detailed painting. Um, I want to try to uh, hold on a minute. I'm going to get some a little bit of brown, uh, blue, black brown and some white real quick here see if I can get me a brown gray blue color okay dark color and I just wanted to try to I uh, just maybe a few rocks so I'm just going to kind of just place them here there wherever like this <clears throat> in the front there's a few here I'm just putting in the dark color uh, right now. And then I'm going to try to highlight some of it. Whether it looks like a rock, I don't when it's done, who knows. So I'm going to get some brown and a little bit of white. To try to get this a little... I, I got to make it brighter so you guys can see it. Okay, just little, I just wanted little indications of rocks, and we'll put some grass to fill those in. And then I said there was some, maybe a couple here too. Little little baby rocks or whatever right there. Uh, yeah, there, there. Okay, let me wipe my finger off. And I'm going to go into just some yellow and green. Yellow and green, and I'm just going to try to uh, just work around those rocks a little bit, just kind of plant them, plant them back into the ground so they don't look like they're just hanging there. And this may be something that you would have to see up close to see, you know, to get the actual feel of it. Um, there. Now I gotta wipe my finger off. Where I came into the water down here, I'm just gonna carefully just drag some of that color right in, which I should have did this way earlier. I'm just gonna work it sideways like this. This will be like a little shadow right here. Take a blue color. Need more of that color. Take some white and blue. And see if I can get a sharp point on my finger here to look like a little, I don't know, like a little water line maybe right here. cover this see I, I touched some of that yellow bush and that's totally fine because I could just grab some of this white color and really just come back and right over top of that right there some areas can be super white Texture. Texture is good. There's a lot of texture in this picture. Let me just step back and look at this real quick.
Yeah, I, I think we're. I think that's pretty good. I think we're in good shape. I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is. I think we're done with this. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna wrap this up. I wasn't messing around tonight. I don't know how long I went, but sorry about the confusion in the very beginning uh, where we didn't have. Um, hold on a minute. Move that out a little bit. Yeah, sorry about the uh, the beginning with the stuff stopping. That wasn't my fault. Blame Comcast. If anybody wants to, but. I got it working. I think we're good to go. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stopping by. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do that. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing these live videos probably once a week. And my regular videos are going to resume here in a few days. So take care. God bless you guys. I love all you guys. Have a great night. And uh, go paint something. Use your hands. This was totally uh, great. I'll post a picture. Um, as soon as I uh, take a picture and do all that stuff, it'll be online. So take care.